Now, we all seem to have been caught up in the excitement of the Olympics, but have you ever wondered where it all began? Well, Athens is credited, of course, with hosting the first modern Olympic Games in 1896. But did you know that Liverpool held an Olympic festival 30 years earlier? Well, John Hulley, a fitness fanatic, organised the festival after setting up a series of gyms to promote sport across the city in the mid-1800s. And it started a tradition that continues today, as Eno Arator explains. It's going to be gone by Jamaica. Great moments from the basis of all sporting tournaments. But to the roots of this multi-billion pound global event lie in a suburban street in Liverpool. John Hulley, a fitness fanatic, set up a series of gyms to promote sports right across the city in the mid-1800s, here in the Mount Vernon area. The first games in 1862, we reckon 7 to 10,000 people came in carriages and over the refinery there was a grandstand. The following year, 1863, there was up to 15,000 people. There was a military parade, there was uh, broadswords, um, fencing, there was boxing, all sorts of athletics, running, jumping, discus, all the basic Olympic sports really. In 1867, the festival came to an end. The expanding city needed the land and there were concerns that the games attracted undesirable elements, gambling and prostitutes. But the legacy lived on. Here in the now demolished Liverpool Gymnasium on Myrtle Street, Hulley formed the world's first national Olympic association. All his legacy. I think is to put gymnastic and athletic sports on the map in Liverpool because Liverpool has a very, very good tradition of athletic sports. John Hulley died in 1875, just 42 years old. He's buried here in Smithdown Cemetery and his supporters were given permission to fly the Olympic flag at the rededication ceremony in 2009. Official acknowledgement of his pivotal role in the rebirth of the modern Olympics. As a gymnast, Holly would have been delighted that the core of the GB women's team are from a Liverpool club. Perhaps the best possible tribute to its forgotten Olympic hero. Eno Eretor, BBC Northwest tonight in Liverpool. Remarkable story. Right.